Hey everybody, right now I'm going to be replacing a woofer. This is a 15 inch PVPR15 and I'm going to be replacing it with this one. As of right now this is only 200 watts RMS 400 peak. This one is 500 watts RMS 1000 watts peak so I'm going to take that out. All I really need is my screwdriver. Take the grill off, take the speaker out, all that fun stuff. I'll probably bypass the crossover because last time I blew the crossover out. So I'll just bypass that and away we go. Well I just pulled the grill off. It has four screws. Right there, right there, right there, and right there. So the grill's going to come off now and you have access to all these screws that hold the speaker in here all the way around. Okay, now I got all the screws out. So this sucker pops right out of here, just like, uh, just like this. Kinda, there we go. Oh, oh nice. Well, pops right out of here. Take it. It's got a set of leads here, positive and negative. I don't know if you can see that, but. This one has a little plus on the plastic. This one has a little minus. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to write on there. Plus. And minus. So I remember which is which. So I disconnect these. Here. In here, we have, obviously, support. It's just a piece of wood. But we also have a crossover, which I'm going to take out and bypass, because the last time I blew that one, one of those crossovers out in my other subwoofer right there. And then you can see I have already replaced that with one of these. Just as a comparison, this is the old magnet. These are neodymium magnets on here. They're real powerful. Doesn't look very big. And then you look at the new one. This sucker is massive. And it weighs about eight times as much. But it does give you the power. See if you look again, look at the size difference there. I'm going to put that one in now. Well, as you can see right here, I got the wires all hooked into the speaker now. Positive to positive, negative to negative. And all I really have to do is just set the sucker in here. Oh, it's heavy. Very heavy. You basically just line up the holes. Since it's a brand new speaker, I'm going to have to first poke holes in here. Because I can't seem to find the holes. Okay, poke a little hole in there. Alright, I got it all screwed in. It's not going anywhere. It's still pretty tight because it's nice and new. This one's been used for quite a while, so it's real kind of loose. It flexes quite a bit. Alright, I'm going to put the grill back on, put the screws back on, and then I am going to bypass that crossover inside. Alright, I got the crossover out now. Basically, there's four screws right here. It sits right like this. Of course, it's not a PV anymore. I took the woofer out, so and we're bypassing the uh, the crossover, so it's not a PV at all. Not even close. I want to show you a really neat trick. If you got two of these little holes here, you take an earplug and keep it from whistling. You just shove the earplug in there. But I'm going to be running these at 4 ohms. So one's going to have it like this, and the other one's just going to be, both of these are going to be open. So let's take a look at this. Here's the bottom of the crossover. I took it off. Here's the crossover. Basically, what it does is the positive comes in, goes through the crossover, comes out to the positive for the speaker. So this big coil of wire winds it down to a certain frequency. I'm just going to bypass it. Because last time 
this wire going to the circuit board snapped off right there. And I decided just to completely bypass it. So I have to run a wire from here to here. And I have my little piece of wire right here that I'm going to make into a U shape. Solder that on, bypass crossover. If you can see here, it says in plus, in negative. Woofer minus, woofer plus. So basically, it's completely going to be bypassed. I gotta wait for my soldering iron to warm up, and then I'll solder it. And I'll show you what, uh, what I did when I'm done. All right, I got that solder on there now. It's nice and tight. It's not going anywhere. So I bypass the crossover without physically removing it. So if I ever want to use it again, all I gotta do is just take this wire off, unsolder it. So I'll put it all back together, and it'll work, basically.